If you're looking to get your first wheel to get into sim racing, then this is the video for you. Now, because this is the first wheel, we're going to be looking at bundles, and there are some great deals out there. This would all come down to your budget, but before we get into buying new, as this is your first wheel, it makes a lot of sense to look at the used market. The idea here is to try to see if sim racing is for you without breaking the bank and the second hand used market is a great place to start. Now there are plenty of places out there that sell used sim racing equipment. eBay is one obviously, Facebook is another and Facebook have many groups for different regions or countries or even different manufacturers. As an example there's a specific Facebook group for buyers and sellers of second hand Fanatec kit. Now if you're unsure of buying within the used market but you still want to get yourself a good deal you could even look at the refurbished market. Now deals are scarce but Logitech as an example refurbish their own products and sell them on their own website. These products might have slight blemishes on them but they come with a full Logitech warranty. They've been fully tested by Logitech to ensure they pass their stringent tests and they also come with all the cables and manuals in the box too. Now at the time of recording this video on the Logitech website I found a refurbished G923 True Force wheel and pedal set for £299. Now to buy that new today that would cost you £349. I also found a Logitech G920 G29 wheel and pedal set for £179 refurbished and again that would cost you new £349. So these are Logitech products refurbished by Logitech to their highest standards with a one-year Logitech warranty for a lot less money than they are brand new. I also found a refurbished Mozza R9 V2 wheelbase for sale which also came with a one-year warranty for £342. To buy that new would cost you £439 so that's also a good saving. Now as I mentioned refurbished deals are scarce but it is still worth looking around to try and save yourself some money. So you've tried sim racing and you've decided it is for you and you're ready to upgrade your used or refurbished setup. So for this upgrade what I recommend you do is you look for something that has a direct drive wheelbase. Now why get a direct drive wheelbase? Well it's all about the way that it transmits the force feedback to the driver. So the motor in the wheelbase is connected directly to the wheel. And because of that, no element in between that dampens the feedback that the racer receives. Now, if you're a PlayStation user and budget is your main concern, then for this price range, you're going to be looking at something like the Logitech G923, but that won't be a direct drive wheel. If budget isn't a concern, then Logitech do have direct drive wheelbases available. Something like the Pro Wheel is going to set you back about £1,000, but that doesn't come with pedals. Now, Fanatec offer a bundle which does support the PlayStation, so something like the Gran Turismo DD Pro, and that set will cost you around about 700 euros. So if you're a PC or an Xbox user, then I personally wouldn't recommend spending £379 on a brand new Logitech setup, and that's because not only would that not be a direct drive wheelbase, there are better and more affordable direct drive options available from other manufacturers and in this price range too. Now the two bundles I'm going to be talking about next are around €399, Euros, so that's just 21 more euros than that from the Logitech G923. And the next two bundles I'm going to show you also come with some good upgrades too, which can be added later if needed. If you wanted to purchase any of the bundles mentioned in this video, there are links down in the description below. They are affiliate links, which means they come at no extra cost to you. But if you do make a purchase, then a very small amount of commission comes back to me, which helps me to continue making content like this. Now, both of these bundles come with a two pedal set, a throttle and a brake, but they can be upgraded to a three pedal set later at a very affordable price if you need to. Personally, I don't use my clutch pedal anymore at all as I mostly drive GT3 or F1 style cars. So the clutch is on my wheel, but this has been a complete waste of money for me. So first we have the Mozza R3 bundle and this is Mozza's first licensed Xbox bundle, but it is compatible with the PC. Now it is worth noting that all of Mozza products are PC compatible. This is their very first Xbox product or to support the Xbox platform. None of the Mozza 
uh, products at the time of recording this video support PlayStation, so that is worth mentioning. So this bundle that comes with wheel, wheelbase and pedals will set you back around £399. The wheelbase outputs a respectable 3.9 newton meters of peak torque and it has an adaptable design which allows you to attach this to a desk or a sim rig. The wheel is Mozza's ES steering wheel. It's covered in high quality leather. It has an aluminium base and has no less than 22 programmable buttons and also comes with a nice RGB shifter light too. The wheel and wheelbase use Mozza's highly rated quick release system as well. Now on to the pedals. The pedals are the SRP pedals and as I mentioned they're a two pedal set so it doesn't come with a clutch but that can be upgraded at a very affordable price of £44 by using by purchasing the SRP light clutch pedal set. Now if you're enjoying this content or finding it useful drive straight into that subscribe button to keep up to date with more content like this. And finally we have the Fanatec CSL DD bundle which comes in at €399. Euros. Now this product doesn't support Xbox or PlayStation, it is only PC compatible. Now Fanatec do have PC and Xbox support on a couple of bundles on their website at the time of recording this video. There's the CSL DD Ready to Race McLaren bundle for Xbox which comes with the McLaren GT3 wheel which I can highly recommend. That is my go-to wheel for everything pretty much. And there's also a WRC bundle for the Xbox and PC too. Now both of these bundles are priced at exactly the same, they're €479. Euros. Now the CSL DD wheelbase outputs 5 newton meters of peak torque, but you can increase that up to 8 newton meters by purchasing an optional Boost Kit 180 from the Fanatec website, and that comes in around £149. The wheelbase supports Fanatec's new QR2 system as well. Now the wheel that comes in this bundle is Fanatec's CSL steering wheel P1V2. So its internal structure is made of polymer casing which means that the wheel is strong and durable. The grip is rubberized. It has a three digit LED display at the top of the rim to show you your speed or what gear you're in. And that's also used to display information from the hardware tuning menu too. It comes with metal shifters and are snap dome assisted meaning that you'll get a good positive click when you're changing either up or down. And finally it has 12 programmable buttons compared to the 22 that we talked about on the Moser wheel previously. The pedals are the CSL pedals, again mentioned this is a two pedal pedal set so a throttle and a brake. Now you have two upgradable options here, you can go with the lowest price to get yourself a third pedal and that would be through purchasing the CSL pedals clutch kit that today would cost you just short of 40 euros. Now the other option that you have is by purchasing the CSL pedals load cell kit and what you're purchasing with that product is you're purchasing a load cell brake pedal with improved electronics. And essentially what this does is this brake pedal replaces the standard brake pedal that you already would have and then that original brake pedal would then become a clutch pedal. The cost for this is just short of 140 euros so it's an extra 100 euros for the load cell brake pedal but it's very very worth it in my opinion. So in summary both are great choices and both offer upgrades to a three pedal set if needed in the future. The Fanatec CSL DD wheelbase in the bundle not only offers more torque than the Mozza R3 straight out of the gate, but it also offers you an affordable option to upgrade that to 8 newton meters if you find that you need more later on. Now whilst you're thinking of your first wheel and pedal set or upgrading your first wheel and pedal set, check out the video that's on screen now where I talk about what sim racing hardware to buy, in what order and what mistakes to avoid. Catch you in the next one.